Hey, good afternoon, Christina and Dr. Lowry. My name is Wayne, and I'm with Blue Digital Solutions here in Jacksonville. Uh, last week, I spoke with Angelica, I believe it was, and I asked if you or your company was still taking on new clients, and she said yes, that you were. So what I wanted to do was send you a customized video, just a short video, uh, showing your web presence compared to your competitors. And I was going to leave you with three simple tips, completely free, that you can do to get your web presence up a little bit higher in the rankings, get on page one, um, and get some more, some more clients. So having said that, let me jump right in here real quick so you can see what we're looking at. Obviously, uh, this is the website that you're currently using, a very professional looking website. And I'm going to go through backlinks content, citations, things of that nature. But first, let's figure out what do people look for when they need a chiropractor? Uh, so in Jacksonville, there's a, in, in any city, but right here is a third-party tool that we use to help identify these key words is what we call them. And one of the top ones that's searched for a chiropractor is Jacksonville, Florida chiropractor. Makes sense. That's probably what I would type in. And so we can look here and see that that key word, there's 1,300 people searching for that keyword every month right here in Jacksonville. And you can see some of the other keywords that are being used. Chiropractor in Jack, 1600. Jacksonville FL Chiropractor, 16. So you can see there's a lot of people searching on a monthly basis for chiropractors. Now the question is, how do you get most of those clients or all that you want to get so that you can help them out? And the way to do that, obviously, is to get your web page ranked on number one, as well as in the Google My Business section, which I will go through in just a moment. So how do we do that? So first thing, we got to figure out who is one of your competitors. Let's see what they're doing because success leaves clues. So we know what the keyword is. So let's go to Google and we're going to type in Jacksonville, Florida chiropractor. We got ads up here at the top. And then we have this map pack, as we call it here. That's the Google My Business area. And then this is page one right here. Number one, two, we're looking, these are advertisements. That's a national chain. Uh, more advertisement. Here we go. Here's a local company right here. They're at number four on page one of Google. So we're going to use this one to compare just to see where, you know, what are they doing that lands them on page one that maybe you are not. So we're going to go and first we're going to look at content. So this is your site, as I mentioned before, very professionally done. Uh, we go through here. We've got some pictures. We've got some content. This is what we're talking about when we talk about content. As we go through, we see some more content here, here. Looks really good. What Google needs to see to help rank your site or any site on page one is at least 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on your front page. So obviously, there's quite a bit of room for more content to meet what Google wants to see. It tells them that you are the authority when you can have that kind of content on your front page. It just shows the authority in this particular practice, and therefore they want to put you on page one so people can find you and get the information. Another thing that you can do to help make yourself more resilient and stand out on page one, on the photos, let's take a look here and see. Okay, so you've got this one labeled as doctor. What if you were to label that one of those key words of some fashion? That's going to also pull in the Google crawlers to look at it. Same with any pictures that you put in here. They should be labeled utilizing a keyword. See that one there? It's just called download. So missing some opportunities there. So just renaming your pictures is going to give you a, a bigger presence right off the bat. So that's that's keywords. Let's see what your competitor is doing for keywords. They've got some throughout here. Got some more right here. And a little bit more down here. So they've, they've got about the same amount of peers. They could still use some more themselves. However, they are on page one already. So let's find out what's going on here. So let's go back to this tool here. This is this is a third-party tool that we use. It helps us analyze some of the metrics. So what's going on behind your website that dictates where it lands and how often it gets seen. Uh, the content we've already spoke about, 1,000 to 1,500 words. Now we're going to look at backlinks and referring domains with this, this section right here. 
this score right here, 1.8, is a 0 to 100. And the higher the number, the more powerful your site is. Obviously, the more powerful your site, the, the higher on page one it can get, as well as the Google My Business section. Uh, looks like you've got 350 backlinks, which you can look at those as votes from Google. Uh, what that is, and you've got 60 referring domains, which simply means that your web site address is out there on 60 other business websites. Now, all websites are not created equal and all backlinks are not created equal. If you have 60 of these referring domains on other business sites that do not relate to chiropractic or car injury, then they're really not providing you any power. They're, they're useless, actually, if they're on the wrong domain. I'm not saying yours are. We can go through and look at that and make sure that you get those in the right areas. Uh, 350 backlinks, that's a good bit. There again, they're not all created equal. We have to make sure that they're in the right website so that it can give you some power. So you're at a 1.8, 350, and 60, and then you got organic keywords. These are the keywords that are scattered through the content on page one and your other pages. So you can look through here, and we can take a look at some of your keywords. Southside Chiropractic, you've got a 100 people a month. Googling that looks like... Uh, Almost one person clicked through. Uh, here's one at 40, laser therapy for arthritis. So you're getting a few calls coming in per month, but we're not getting any traffic. You see here, nobody's clicking through and going into your site. Most of that is because you're not, you well, know, right here, you're on page seven of Google. There's page seven again, page seven. That's page 10. So nobody obviously goes past page one when they're Googling something. So we need to get you up into page one. And to do that, we utilize keywords, backlinks, referring domains. So let's take a look and see what your competitor is doing. Because as I said, success leaves clues. And they have a domain rating of seven. So they are a higher number. They have more backlinks, 85 referring domains. And let's look at their keywords. Now they don't have as many keywords as yours. Uh, and somehow that went to Canada. Don't know why it did that. There we go. Jacksonville Chiropractic. You can see all the different keywords here that this website is using. See the traffic that's coming from it. That's how many people are clicking through each month. And look at the number of people going to their site out of those 300. 38 people, 34, 28, 11, 10. I mean, they've got click-throughs going into their website because they're in position 5 on page 1. Page one, one, page one, page one. That makes the difference. So you can use the same keywords as this website uses to help boost your recognition and get you on page one. Let's go back over here. So we've talked a little bit about content. Google wants 1,000 to 1,500 words, which you can easily do here. You've got the room to do it. Mix in some organic keywords throughout your content, rename your pictures using some of your keywords that will direct people to your site, and then work on backlinks and the actual referring domains, making sure that they are like kind businesses. The third thing that we're gonna talk about are citations and the Google My Business section. This is where when you pull up Jacksonville, Florida chiropractor, this is the first thing that comes up. I mean, there are ads up here that people buy and they work. However, when you stop running your ads, then your presence on the web is gone. You run your website and get in the organic section, which is this section here on page one, or, and you get into the Google My Business section. It's always there, no matter what. This section right here, 60 to 70% of the people searching for anything, Jacksonville, Florida chiropractor, they're gonna click one of these first three sites they see right here. 60 to 70% of the people will click right here. So obviously having your business right here is where it's at. Second to that, the other 30 to 40% will be choosing someone on page one, just like right here. So the goal is to not only have a web presence where you have organic ranking and on page one, you also want to be in this Google 
my business area right here. And to do that, you need to get into directories. Now, what directories are is nothing more than look at it as like the yellow pages where you put your name of your business, your address, your business hours, and your phone number. And exactly just the way that looks, you put that into over 300 different directories available. Most people don't do that. Most people only do 10, 20, 30, 50 directories and call it quits. The more directories you get put into, the higher you get on this Google My Business page. So it's well worth going after all the directories you can. And that's, again, it's not hard to do. It's a little bit time consuming, but they all 300 can be utilized. Let's see where you rank on that. we got another tool we use to look at that. Here you are, Southside Chiropractic Car Injury Clinic. And it looks like you're in 70 directories, which is good. I mean, you can see there's some other businesses that don't relate to you, however. So people are all over the place. But why not be in all 300? Get in all 300 and then get yourself in this map pack, as it's called, along with being on page one in the organic. And now you're boosting your business tenfold. So wanted to share this with you. Nothing major. Some minor tweaks. Content. Keywords in your content. Rename your pictures. Make sure that the referring domains are the ones that will give your website more power and get into more directories. Those, those five things, you can be doing that on your own. Someone in your office can do it. If uh, you're like most business owners, your time is spent with your clients and running your business. Uh, if you'd like some help, I would love to sit down and, and learn more about your business and see how we could put something together that is tailored strictly for you and your clients and get you up there on page one. My name is Wayne. My number is 904-553-5521. Have a good day.